Taiwan always had a flair for the dramatic when it comes to architectural icons. Its third largest city, Taichung, now attempts a project unlike any other. The National Taichung Theatre. Its architect envisions a building inspired by nature. And even more beautiful within than on the outside. But how do you build walls that disobey the laws of engineering? Many engineers didn't believe that this can be done. It's a race against time and money to build this ambitious structure. Taichung's vibrant manufacturing industries are synonymous with the words made in Taiwan. In a few decades, it became one of the country's most prosperous cities. Old buildings made way for new architecture and facilities. What kind of building would reduce grown men to tears? A building dreamed up by this man. Japanese architect Toyo Ito is known for his maverick ideas. For Tai Chung, Ito is pulling out the stops to create something totally unique. And it all started with a simple idea. あ、私はま、人間はもともとお木の上に住んでいたり、あるいは洞窟の中に住んでいたと。え、直角のものとかないわけですね。ま、そんなことをあのイメージして。え、もう一度あの建築がこう軽部であったり、あるいは樹木であ
we needed to very closely model and, uh, and understand how the force flows in this very continuous walls and where the reinforcement elements need to go and where it might or might not crack. As engineers translate their 3D blueprint into real-world construction of the walls, work begins on the construction of two massive fly towers. Builders first dig a foundation two floors underground. Anchor bolts are then driven into it to secure the roots of the towers. A 1.5 metre concrete slab is then laid over the top of this foundation. The exposed tips of the anchor bolts above ground are fastened to base plates located beneath each steel column. This creates a super strong foundation layer able to withstand violent shakes in the event of an earthquake. The Taiwanese city of Taichung is racing against time to construct an iconic building it commissioned more than a decade ago. No city is alive unless it has attractive buildings. This is being attractive on a global level. You're not competing with other localities. You're competing with the world. Problem solving has to begin at the heart of the matter. To make it curve, engineers have no choice but to manually cut. To increase its strength, engineers weave the rebars into a three-layer grid, interlocked by welding and wires. They use twice the amount of rebars it usually takes for walls. With a staggering total of 20,000 tons of steel needed for the theater, this method not only simplifies the operation, but also shortens the time it takes to do the job. After figuring out how to build a sturdy steel skeleton for the walls, the team has to quickly design a special curved formwork to set the walls. The project is way behind its budgeted timeline. This makes Taichung's mayor, Lin Cha Long, anxious. The pressure from the city council is uh, uh, increasing. So we have to control the budget. And uh, the other challenge is from the time constraint. With the most crucial stages of construction now complete, but is the job done for Ito? Tokyo, uh, one year. Thank you for, yeah, uh, make a great contribution yeah. to this Thank city. Thank you very much. Building Taiwan's National Taichung Theatre has been a 10-year journey. The real test will have to be a live performance. Today we welcome friends of the arts from around the world to join us in celebrating the grand opening of National Taichung Theatre. It's music to the years for a team led by two mayors and a multinational group of architects and engineers who reflect on a project that has taken them over 10 years to complete. It is the most attractive, most unique building in the world. It's a landmark, and even it's the icon of this city. The National Taichung Theater, now standing proudly as a member of Taiwan's prestigious National Performance Art Center chain that defied all the rules. 
a man-made marvel. Three D 驱墙工法打破建筑新规则。This is a future leap by the computer technology. 但却面临工程史上最棘手的考验。Many engineers didn't believe that this can be done. 用十年打造前所未见的建筑工艺，成为台中市新地标，共同谱出一座城市的新乐章。建筑奇观，台中国家歌剧院，五月二十八日星期日就在 Discovery 频道首播。